Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. Um, this is a TS Tech Talks video, guys. So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable two-step authentication, two-step two authentication for your Google application or your Google app. So um, there is the first thing I need to do, guys. We need this particular application right there called um, not that I clicked on the wrong one. We need this application right there called Authenticator. It's actually owned by Google. So um, this is the application logo and we are going to have to download it from Android Play Store. Now, um, if you are in Nigeria, I'm actually creating this video so that you can make use of um, this particular feature. Or even though you are not in Nigeria, you also need to know how to do this because this is very useful apart from having one option to um, um, recover your password you also need google authenticator so um, go ahead and watch this video to learn even how to do it so this is the application owned by google you can notice it says google llc so install it and then go ahead and have it on your phone ready for this application for this tutorial so the first thing i need to show you guys is um on youtube actually if you are a, um, a youtube creator and you want to get monetized you will not be able to get monetized if you have not enabled this particular feature for your um on your studio so i'm going to type in studio.youtube.com to open the um studio section for a youtube creator now um this is the um, creator section i'm going to zoom in a little bit and i'm going to click on this double um, dollar icon to show you guys what i mean and then it has loaded up right there this is a section you notice that section that says two-step authentication now if you have not enabled this two-step authentication you will not be able to go through enabling your application on your android phone so in order to enable this um there are two ways to do this you can go ahead and click on this turn on or you just go to the android um app and search for android um security for your google android now i'm going to click on this turn on to take me to the notification area and you can notice there are some information here you can go ahead and read it but because i'm zoomed out um the whole information is not showing right there so um all you need to do is to click on continue to continue this section to proceed to security section of your google so it's going to ask for your passcode um i already have it saved on my device so i just clicked on that but you can go ahead and enter yours and then click on next and wait for it to load all right this have loaded up and you can notice right now i have different um security right there you notice i can actually enable my device with this or this so i can go ahead and click on this which is the current device i have right now so but um if you do not want to use this device that's fine i'm just going to go ahead and say continue now you notice my phone number showing right there but i do not want to use um the phone number because already i already have this phone number um activated and it doesn't actually work because it, um if you are coming from nigeria and try this it's just going to say send a message and never work but if you are not in nigeria go ahead and use this particular option and it works very well so i'm going to click on another option now this is the options right there so um i can go ahead and download this code you notice it has been downloaded so i can go ahead and click on next and then um click on turn on now i have downloaded that and i also have have it saved up on my device and you can notice the two-step authentication will be active you notice right now that it has been activated but that is not all i want to do right now i also want to do even more by going over to the google application search for google application this is the google application that i'm talking about click on it to have it open and then wait for it to open once it's open click on this menu right there that have um your profile name as initial d i'm going to go ahead and click on that option and now you notice where it says manage your account right go ahead and click on manage your account and it's going to display the management area of a google account wait for it it's going to load up now once it loads up go ahead and go over to the security section which like i'm doing right now and then go ahead and look for where it says two-step authentication now this is two-step authentication you notice it's currently locked and um, turned on let's go ahead and click on the two-step authentication and then see um if we'll see more option for for our um google authenticator which is what we want now you notice currently this is turned on these are turned on and currently the two-step authentication 
authenticator app is not yet set up so i will have to go ahead and set that up now the beauty of the two-step authenticator is that even when you do not have access to internet you can go ahead and log into your device so it actually gives you more way to enable and recover your account when it's hacked or when you lost the password you notice currently i have two different devices that is also set up on default and i also have the phone number set up you saw it initially and right now i want to enable two-step authenticator for um the um authenticator app so all i need to do is to click on setup right there and then you notice it says android right i'm going to leave the android selected on default and then i'm going to go ahead and click on next wait for it to load up now you notice it says scan a code right now you can either scan this code or you copy the code so i'm going to click on can't scan because the phone is already on this device so since i cannot scan you can notice this is the code i will have to enter this um codes manually so i have to go over to the google authenticator app open it but it's actually going to be very stressful so i'm going to say enter a key phrase right there now it says account name i'm going to call this um google google i'm going to call this google ac which is short form for google account now um that name actually allows me to remember what i'm entering so the passcode is going to be w n v y so i'm going to enter w n v y and make sure you enter the code correctly if you do not enter it correctly it's not going to go anyway w n v y v p n <laughs> All right, guys, so I think I have um, entered this up and I think it's successful. So the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and select add option to add it up. And if it's wrong, it's not going to go through. And now you can see um, this has been generated. This secret key has been generated. And once you tap and hold it, you notice it says verification code copied. Now I'm going to go over to this area and then I'm going to click on next. Now it's asking for the code, right? Now I have to enter the code right there. I'm pasting it so I'm going to click on verify down let's wait if it's incorrect it's not going to be going through but you notice right now it says done and it's actually successful so the next thing to do is to go ahead and click on done and the authenticator should be set up and also I have to refresh to confirm that it has been set up and I'm very sure it has been set up now you notice it says added three minutes ago so this is all I need to show you guys on adding authenticator app or authenticator Google authenticator to your Google account now you notice I have several um, several setup keys so now I have a backup code I have an authenticator I have the phone enabled and I also have my phone numbers enabled so each and every one that is not active i can go ahead and make use of them and this is all i want to show you guys on today's video i hope this video is helpful if it is smart like subscribe to the channel for even more video and i'm going to see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace